Well, first the pandemic, now gas prices threaten to siphon profits from the resort city over the upcoming holiday weekend. Or do they? Ten in your side, Stephanie Hudson checked in on oceanfront hotels and travel predictions, Steph. Well, guys, even with gas hitting record prices, people are pumped to travel. And that is good news for Virginia Beach. The, the whole resort area, business looks great for this weekend. Despite the price of the pump, hotel bookings are very strong, says Virginia Beach Hotel Association President John Zirkel. I'll knock on wood and say it's not deterring anybody yet, but <laughs> so far the summer's looking really strong. Zirkel tells us people are even planning to stay longer, three, four, five night stays on Saturday through next Wednesday. I think probably most of the resort area will be sold out. Road trips will break previous records, AAA predicts. Actually totally recovering from even pre-pandemic in 2019. As 42 million opt to drive this Independence Day weekend, with the most traffic expected Thursday and Friday. The middle of the day is usually when people like to travel, so either traveling early in the morning or later at night, you um, could be less likely to hit that traffic. Ongoing issues with air travel may be driving the increase. AAA says the share of people traveling by air will be the lowest since 2011. As Virginia Beach is a drive to destination, that's good news for the city. It means for the citizens of Virginia Beach anyway, uh, more tax revenue going into the city so we can keep hiring those policemen, firefighters, school teachers and everything. While travelers are back from pre-pandemic levels, staffing is not. But Zirkle told me the good news here is that they now are able to welcome back those J-1 visa students. About 1,200 young adults, mostly from Eastern Europe, are here now, and many are working two jobs, which he says is a godsend for the Strip. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.